PewDiePie exposes Jake Paul. Yesterday, PewDiePie came out with a video called Jake Paul Exposed, and in under 24 hours, it's already at 4 million views, and it's the number three trending thing on YouTube. Fair warning, PewDiePie does a lot of dabbing in this video, like a lot. In this video, he starts off by saying how he now is a Jake Pauler. Honestly, I'm shocked. I mean, it was just like a month and a half ago where Jake Paul roasted PewDiePie in his music video. But PewDiePie says that they are now friends and they've been talking. And he's not okay with the internet coming after his new friend with all this negativity. He talks about the news reports where the neighbors are angry with him for the pranks, rudeness, and endless amounts of fans hanging outside their homes. Then PewDiePie mentions how the Team 10 bus got destroyed on the freeway. Jake Paul obviously wasn't happy about this. And and in one of his recent videos, he said this happened because one of the neighbors came over when the van was parked and actually unscrewed the screws that were in the tire to the Team 10 van. And says that the neighbors are literally trying to kill them. Now, I admit this is super dangerous, but he can't really blame it on the neighbors. I mean, it could be one of the neighbors, but there are also a lot of people out there who don't like Jake and know his address. So, just saying, it could have been anyone. But either way, this is super dangerous and it could have ended up really badly, so it's not okay. But then PewDiePie says he has some evidence and he can't hold this information back from Jake anymore. Longer. PewDiePie points out that during all of this commotion, no one is paying attention to Jake Paul's brother Logan Paul's response. In a video, Logan talks about how he feels bad about all of the hate Jake is getting, and says that if the neighbors don't like him, they shouldn't sue him or go to the media. Instead, they should egg his house or take the lug nuts off of the wheels of his car. What the heck did PewDiePie just discover here? Is Logan Paul trying to kill his own brother? I know they feud a lot, but this is too much. PewDiePie then ends the video by saying Jake's a Nazi, but that's besides the point. What do you guys think about PewDiePie's discovery? Do you think Logan is behind the Team 10 car crashing, or is it just a coincidence? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey guys, welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. I hope you're all having a wonderful week so far. At the end of this week, I'm going to do one more round of answering your guys' questions. Last week was great and we got so many questions from you guys. So if there's anything you wanna know about LP or me personally, then let me know down in the comments and I will be answering those on Thursday and Friday. So you have a few days to submit your questions and then I'll choose a few to answer. All right, as always, we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way, so without any further ado, let's get started. Next, okay, so there's so much going on in the world of YouTube, it's insane. Speaking of Jake Paul, he recently announced that he and the Disney Channel have parted ways. He said that this was a mutual decision and that he just didn't have enough free time and that working there was a full time job. He also said that he's getting older and wanted to be able to get more adult roles and thought that playing a 16 year old kid on the Disney Channel would ultimately hold him back from that. However, he did say that he loves the network and the cast and he will miss them so much. Then we have Bryce Gum and his new music video. This music video is called God Church. It has 8 million views and and it's a diss track directed at Tanner Fox. In Tanner Fox's new music video, he went after Rice Gum, so he should have expected this to happen. Rice Gum goes in on Tanner's looks, his girlfriend, and his finances. He doesn't hold back. Here's a clip. Hey, how you gonna let your girl have a better verse? That's your girl, she a stick, she ain't got curves. She a hoe, yeah, you fell into the thought curse. Drop merch and it's selling like a god church. Ooh, the girl on that track, she's not better than you. Next, I have an update for you guys in the Charlie Guard case. After a five month long legal battle, Charlie's parents have decided to officially end their battle to keep him alive. Yesterday in court, the family's legal counsel, Grant Armstrong, told Judge Francis that the time has run out for Charlie, and even if he were to receive treatment, it wouldn't offer a chance of success. Supporters were absolutely shocked to hear the couple is no longer seeking further treatment for Charlie. Before this, Charlie's parents lost battles in the High Court, Court of Appeal, and Supreme Court court in London, so they definitely tried their hardest to do what they believe was best for their son. As of recently, the couple has faced a lot of criticism where people have been claiming the parents are abusive, and the hospital where Charlie has been staying has received threats. At this point, Charlie's parents Chris and Connie just want to make the most of what little time they have left with Charlie, and they are hoping people will respect their privacy during this difficult time. Next, as you guys know, Sunday kicked off Shark Week, and what better way to grab people's attention than to have Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps have a swim off against a great white shark. That's right, the Discovery Channel was the home to this battle, where the two had to swim 100 meters in the same open water, and their times were compared. However, Phelps did make it clear that he and the shark were not in the water at the same time. If they were, the shark would have most likely been too distracted with Phelps to actually get an accurate swim time. Although Phelps did make it clear that if he was allowed to swim side by side with the shark, he'd be down. Everyone was saying that there was no way Phelps was going to beat the shark. And they were right, but shockingly, they were only exactly two seconds apart. That is extremely impressive. Next, Justin Bieber might be quitting music to start his own church. Justin Bieber has officially canceled the final 14 dates of his world tour. Yeah, there are thousands. 
thousands of pissed off fans. Entertainment guru Richard Wilkins has claimed that a source close to Justin has said he's taking time off to reconnect with his faith, and he may even be planning to start his own church. And Justin has been seen hanging out at Hillsong Church lately. A statement on Bieber's website said, Justin loves his fans and he hates to disappoint them. He is grateful and honored to have shared that experience with the cast and crew for over 150 successful shows across six continents during this run. So that doesn't really explain why he's taking the time off. If you ask me, I think it's clear why he's taking a break. The poor guy is probably exhausted. Of course, all the money from ticket sales will be refunded. Next, the first official trailer for Stranger Things is here. That's right, forget these teaser trailers. We now have the real thing and it's super creepy. It's 1984 and the citizens of Hawkins, Indiana are still reeling from the horrors of the Demogorgon and the secrets of Hawkins Lab. Will Byers has been rescued from the upside down, but a bigger sinister entity still threatens those who survived. When I watched this trailer, it gave me chills. They really stepped it up this season. My friend Jamie and I binge watched the first season, so I assume we will do the same with this one. Let me know in the comments who your binge watching buddy is and if you binge watch the show as well. It's going to be airing on Netflix on October 27th. Here's a peek. What is it? I don't know. I felt it. Well, there you guys have it. That's all the news stories I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.